good Saturday, everyone. More showers and thunderstorms are on the way for our Saturday. As you can see by our daily weather map, our area is highlighted once again in strong to severe thunderstorms. Even have a flash flood risk um, at play today. Our ground is getting saturated, and so these heavy downpours of rain with that water, it's having uh, less options for places to go. So we're starting to see some you know, additional flooding from that at times. Um, so we'll be very mindful of that. Elsewhere across the country, we see a flash flood risk across portions of western New York State. We also have a severe weather risk um, in southwest Texas in a small area there, southeast New Mexico, and then the western portions of Texas. So but we'll be focused on our area today as we will be weather aware once again. Look at our five-day forecast, Saturday and Sunday, 50% chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms, highs in the mid to upper 80s. Tonight, 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms, lows in the mid to upper 60s. We'll do the same thing Sunday night. Then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, more rain chances. 50% chance for showers and thunderstorms each day, dropping off to 30% chances, which are mainly before midnight each evening next week and um, just to give you some uh, clues as to what to expect for Thursday and Friday let's just say I could have kept going with this forecast right on into the end of next week so 50% uh, chances for showers and thunderstorms during the especially during the afternoon and evenings dropping off to around 30% chances at night and very warm and very humid and um, we have plenty of fuel for thunderstorms that's for sure this is an interesting perspective from yesterday's storm activity. This is radar estimated precipitation. And so you can see that hot area of high pressure that's centered over Louisiana. The flow around that high is clockwise. So everything that forms around the edge of that high, which I've explained in previous posts and whatnot, you'll get the activity forming right along the edge of that high. And you can see how it just kind of gets steered right around. So starting in West Texas, arching up, to Iowa and then arching back down into our neck of the woods and we'll see the same thing today and we'll see the same thing a similar situation tomorrow on Sunday so we'll stay weather aware on this day in 1792 a tremendous storm which was probably a tornado or a hurricane but I'd say it's probably a tornadic situation hit Philadelphia and New York City many young people were drowned while out boating on that Sunday 1979 it snowed half a foot at stampede pass washington so if you want to cool off go stampede pass washington 1919 1999 lightning strikes moss florist in mount juliet over near nashville destroyed all the contents inside the greenhouse can you imagine a direct lightning strike to a greenhouse and then 2012 nashville's high temperature hit 105 giving the city four straight days of 100 degree readings for the first time in history 2012 was definitely a remarkable a remarkable summer for sure you folks have a wonderful saturday and keep looking up if you know anyone who is out camping or out doing anything outdoors make sure they know about the weather forecast for today because some of these storms are going to have some kick to them as we've seen in the past few days lots of cloud to ground lightning um, heavy rainfall strong gusty winds that could become damaging at times and while the tornado threat is low these straight line winds can do as much damage as a, as a weak tornado. So we need to take this very, very seriously. Again, we will be weather aware today. We will be weather aware on Sunday. I'm seeing a few thunderstorm warnings issued right now for portions of southern Indiana for our next complex that we'll worry about or be concerned about. And uh, that will be moving on down into Kentucky and then on down into our neck of the woods as we go through today. I'll be right here watching it all. You just keep it right here. Meteorologistmark.com.